Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today I want to talk a bit about cyberbullying. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. I don't know how many of you remember, but about four years ago I was being cyberbullied on Twitter and Reddit and it nearly killed me and that's what I want to talk about today how it felt being bullied now I know a lot of you have been experienced have experienced bullying at some point in your life and I've had people reach out to me in the past saying that they've been bullied now I was bullied all through secondary school so from the age of 11 till 16 I was bullied and that was hard to go through but it is nothing compared to cyberbullying cyberbullying is worse than physical bullying. I'd rather get punched in the face than have a tweet said about me. And it really just stuck with me. So today I'm making a video raising awareness for cyberbullying. So for me, I was cyberbullied in school as well, but I'm not talking about that today. I'm talking about adults bullying adults. And honestly, I don't know what people have against me because I'm not a controversial YouTuber. I'm not. He can even call me a YouTuber. <laughs> I've just spent six minutes reading tweets. Fuck. And I'm crying. Oh god. Why do I do this to myself? Cyberbullying is something that occurs in daily life. And like I said, I was getting harassed and bullied on Twitter and Reddit. The stuff on Reddit, I, took, I just issued a copyright takedown because they were using my content and it got took down. So Reddit I don't really care about. But the Twitter stuff, the Twitter stuff went on for about a year and it was every little thing I was saying or doing and honestly it got to a point where I was getting afraid to post anything and YouTube has and always will be a hobby for me. I don't do this for money. Yes I earn money off YouTube and Patreon but I don't earn a lot. I get £60 every few months. It's not paying me loads. I guess my point of this video really is cyberbullying almost killed me. And I don't want anyone else to go through that. Because when you're alone, you're alone. And having people hurling abuse towards you on social media where everyone can see and join in, it just it's so fucking hard. When I was being cyberbullied, it was a case of how much can you take? And I remember one night I was sitting in my room with my grandparents. I'd gotten drunk on shots that I bought from Aldi. <laughs> Quality shots. And it was just that one message that pushed me over the edge and I ended up taking an overdose of my grandpa's anxiety med, propanolol. And I've never told anyone about this attempt because it's the one time I never sought help. I never told anyone. And that's the truth of being cyberbullied. You don't know when that one message is going to push someone over the edge. And if you do, then what the fuck is wrong with you? I get that it's easy to say, make a comment on what someone looks like or what they're doing or how they act. But the truth is you don't know how that person's going to react to your hateful message. And as someone who received a lot of trolling, 
there was Bex, there was Stephanie, there was Quirty Dad, there was and just a few other people together and they all teamed up against me and started harassing me about the same thing someone posted my address on Twitter and tagged all these accounts to a point where we, me and Becca had the police to go to the police station because it wasn't safe for us to go home and if you haven't seen that vlog if I remember I will link it in the description down below Cyber cyberbullying is cowardly if you don't have the bravery to say it to my face using your actual account you shouldn't say it now all the harassment I went through it just broke me I stopped doing YouTube for a while I went into hospital because it were But yeah, that's all I want to say. Cyberbullying broke me.